Welcome everyone back to the channel. Last night we sat down and watched some Netflix and we actually watched something that we really ended up liking and we wanted to bring the review for it to you today. And we ended up watching Unicorn Store. This is Brie Larson's directorial debut for a full length movie and I honestly didn't know that this was coming out until about a week ago. And we're fresh off Captain Marvel. Everybody's loving Brie Larson right now, or at least most people are. <laughs> um, but this is a movie about a girl named Kit, played by Brie Larson herself, who is kind of trying to find her way in life. She's a young adult who got kicked out of art school and she's trying to figure out what to do. And a salesperson comes along, that's played by Samuel Jackson, who offers her a unicorn but she has to prove some things to get it. Now, this is a spoiler for your review, so we won't reveal like the in-depth details of the plot, but we still want to talk about it and uh, talk about some of how we felt as we were watching this movie. And I didn't feel like this plot did anything like crazy, like out of the ordinary, but it it was a lot of fun to go through. I still quite enjoyed it. It's a bit of a slice of life finding yourself surrealist movie is like the best way I can describe it. So it's not this big like blockbuster type subject. There's not like any craziness going on in it, but it has some really interesting themes and ideas throughout it due to the surrealist aspect of it. I will always take a film that knows how to have a beginning, a middle, and an end that is not overly complicated than one that tries to like do way too much and get convoluted and lose itself along the way. And I feel like this film knows what it's coming in to do with these characters and I think executes it really well. This movie also has a stellar cast that I was not expecting. Of course, I knew Brie Larson and Sam Jackson were in it, but we also have Joan Cusack and Bradley Whitford playing Kid's parents, which is the parent duo I never knew I needed on screen until I saw it, and it's wonderful. And we also have a character named Virgil played by Mamadou Athie. Athie? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But uh, they were all fantastic. I think they all worked really well together, and it was really interesting to see how their characters played out. Yeah, I think everyone had a ton of chemistry, and everyone was really funny in this movie. And The dry humor in this is great. Yeah, it, I just really enjoyed it. One of the unique aspects about this movie, and I think the way it was written, is it's almost like people don't have any pretense when they speak in this film. Everyone talks and it's very dry, like, I'm going to say what I mean right now. And it ends up having a lot of hilarious circumstances, especially when these characters are talking to each other. I think the standout character and performance for me was from Mamadou Athie. I really enjoyed his performance. I haven't seen him in anything else before this. Me neither. But I need him to narrate audiobooks for me because his voice is like butter. Yeah, I felt like to come in along all these all-stars and hold his own in these films, I thought he... These he films? Did... It was one film. It was one film, <laughs> but I think he did a really good job. The This anthology of films that he is now in... <laughs> But I thought he did a really good job, and at no point did I feel like he was maybe a, you know, lower tier actor than these big names. As I mentioned earlier, this film has a very surrealist aspect to it. We are dealing with a unicorn purchase. Uh, which makes this a little weird and a little, like, fantastical. And the charm in this from as a result of that was just absolutely delightful but still grounded i don't like things that get like too crazy surrealist because mm -hmm. i just get lost at that point i'm like can you just make it a sci-fi or fantasy like the real world surrealism thing it's not my bag but i really liked how this one played out yeah i feel like we've gotten a lot of surrealist stories lately and i quite like how this one towed the line between um normal and not it kept you guessing where you're like wait is this just the normal world and is none of this really real or is that how this movie's gonna go or is it gonna go in the opposite direction where it is crazy and all this magical stuff is real and it keeps you guessing throughout while still maintaining a level of weirdness to kind of draw you in and, and create that wonder of like what's going on. I think a lot of that is also caused by the dialogue in this mm -hmm. film because like Steven mentioned, the dialogue in this is so strange and off-putting, but genuine at the same time. It's such a weird combo, but it works. Yeah, I think there's just so many instances where instead of like emoting something where someone's frustrated, someone will say it, where someone's like, I am so angry right now. Instead of actually just emoting or acting out that they're mad and it just creates a funny circumstance. I think we were laughing out loud throughout this entire film. It was very funny. 
So overall, we both really liked this movie. It was a big surprise. Initially, upon watching the trailer, it didn't super draw me in. I wasn't, like, super sold on it. But we sat down to watch it, and I'm really glad we did. I feel like sometimes Netflix has sneakier movie releases, but this is definitely one that I recommend people go check out, whether or not it's your cup of tea. But as always, we want to know your thoughts. Have you watched this movie? And what did you think of it? Did you think it was real weird and didn't like it because of that? Or did you absolutely love the weirdness of it like we did? We definitely want to know your thoughts down below. Please give us a thumbs up if you want to see more movie reviews like this. And let us know if there's any movies that have come out recently that you're really interested in reviews of. Not sure if we'll get to them, but we always want to know what people want to look at. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from us. We have a lot of fun stuff going on. Lots of series coming up soon. So we would love to have you join our BS Review family. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.